Field is out for the third race, the County Fair Challenge for pacing three-year-old fillies. Here's that field of 10 for race three. One is Skip a Storm, owned by Arnie Ralston of Charleston. Arnie trains, and Andy Miller is driving. Two is Stormy Classic, owned by Fred and Judy Scott, Moorhaven, Florida. Trained and driven by Fred Scott. Three OG's Gallant Girl, owned by Johnny Rice of Starkville, Mississippi. Curtis Rice trains. J.D. Finn is in the bike. Four, Touts Legacy, owned by Gene Prather of Huntsville. Richard Prather trains. Dave McGee gets a call. Five is A.J.'s Kathy, owned by Janet Emerson of Golconda. Harley Emerson trains. Terry Culifer is up. Six, Z. Cola, owned, trained, and driven by Tom Graham, Jr., Buzz Graham of Salem. Seven, Pimento, owned by Larry Breed of Stockton. Benita Simmons of Springfield. Tom Simmons trains and will drive. Eight, Miss Nitro, owned by Ron Lott of Athens. By Ron and Dolores Phillips of Petersburg. Mike Rogers trains. Eric Ledford is in the bike. Nine, O.G. Starlet, owned by Paducah, Kentucky's Bobby Dexter. Trained by Roy Finn, Fred Finn Jr. will drive. And number 10, Cindy's Torpedo. Owned by Mike and Cynthia Johnson of Martinsville. Mike Johnson trains. Jimmy Tactor will be driving. That's the field for race number three, the final for County Fair three-year-old pacing fillies. Rolling. Race number three, championship, County Fair three-year-old pacing fillies. Field of 10. And... Here they come. They're often pacing, rushing from the outside. There goes OG Starlet, nine-time winner this year. She scoots across the racetrack for Fred Finn, Jr. Out fast also is Touts Legacy. And in between Phillies, getting out next to Stormy Classic, she'll get the trip third. On the outside, racing now around the turn, trying to move up as they drive toward the quarter. Z Cola finds herself parked. She's second behind her, racing fourth. As they drive that way is... Touts Legacy. To the inside, pacing five, is Skip a Storm. Outside her, racing six, as they race now around the turn is Cindy's Torpedo. Following Cindy's Torpedo, seventh on the outside. As they straighten down the uh, backstretch, comes Miss Nitro. To the inside of her, racing nine, is OG's Gallant Girl, as they roll toward the half-mile mark off a 27-3 front quarter. And on the outside, up to take command, now lead it by a length, a length and a half, is Touts Legacy, as they approach the half-mile mark. Getting covered now as they reach that station will be Z Cola. Behind her third as they reach the half is OG Starlet now moving quickly. On the outside here comes Stormy Classic and Fred Scott. They're fourth, now third. And behind her, Skip of Storms underway. She's fifth, now fourth. And now Cindy's Torpedo joins the fray. She's on the outside following cover. She's sixth off a 55 and four front half. We should see a stakes record with that kind of front half. They're in the final turn. And on the outside, Stormy Classic has bowled her way to the lead on the inside of her. Touts Legacy is now second and following a cover on the outside, moving up three wide. As they race around the turn, comes Skip a Storm. OG Starlet has to back out. She finds daylight now for Fred Finn Jr., but she's sixth and has seven lengths to make up. And ahead of her, Cindy's Torpedo very much in the fray. They're there in 124-3. Should be a new record in this stake down the lane. And uh, Phillies are fanning out. They're coming from everywhere in the final eighth mile across the racetrack. As they drive this way, far outside, here comes OG Starlet. Inside her, under a fierce drive, is Cindy's Torpedo and driving to the wire. OG Starlet, Cindy's Torpedo. Third is AJ's Kathy. Cindy's Torpedo was second. And the winner was the late rushing Oh, gee, Starlet, it is a new stakes record. 154.3, that's the fastest mile ever in this series of races. Oh, gee, Starlet, win number 10. Isn't that Newton set a track record, 157.4 there, remarkable performance. At that point, Bobby Dexter bought her. From uh, trainer Curtis Rice, owner Johnny Rice, she went on to win eight more times under the tutelage of Roy Finn. Roy Finn now into the ceremony, joining his winning filly. Brenda Watson again will make presentation. Brenda, an IHHA representative. She is the downstate grassroots legislative uh, coordinate, coordinator and a member and director of ISOBA. 
And now in the winner's circle, joining his winning filly is Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, longtime horse owner. Bobby, former owner of Drawn's Business College in Paducah, also owned the professional truck driving school just off exit uh, four, I believe it is, as you cross the river going into Kentucky. His brother Glenn joins him. And Glenn's friend Carol Frisco also in that victory lane ceremony. Leaving the winner circle or victory lane is Fred Finn Jr. who mounted a big, a big drive that last sixteenth of a mile to sweep past five or six fillies ahead of him with the Mohican Pride Swat Sioux daughter O.G. Starlet stakes record New record for her, Roy Finn trains, Fred Jr. drives, there she is, O.G. Starlet. <laughs> 